Hi, welcome to our channel Good New. As we all know, China is becoming a powerful country. China's changes are the focus of public attention. So we'd like to take you to feel the effects of these changes. That is why we have this channel. Okay, let's get to the point of the day. We all know that, now that 4G has achieved global popularity, the development of 5G is also very rapid, and relevant companies all over the world have begun to make preparations in order to capitalize on the opportunity in the field of next-generation communication technology. Among them are three of the world's most active companies, Ericsson and Nokia, both international veteran communication companies, and China's Huawei. For a long time, Huawei has seized the opportunity on a global scale because it owns the most 5G patents in the world. However, with the recent release of new data, Ericsson has directly surpassed and surpassed Huawei. So, why is Ericsson able to outperform Huawei in 5G contracts? The competition for 5G contracts is already fierce, and it appears that you are pursuing me. So, is there any chance for Huawei to overtake Ericsson? Ericsson surpassed Huawei with 172 5G contracts. Ericsson released the most recent data on its official website on April 29th of this year. Ericsson has won 172 commercial 5G contracts so far. Furthermore, Ericsson has reached 5G commercial contracts with 89 of them and provided equipment for 121 5G commercial networks that are already operational in 54 countries. Ericsson appears to be making good progress in 5G commercial contracts. You know, more than five months ago, at the end of 2021, Ericsson's 5G commercial contracts were only 122, and now there are 172 contracts, which is a 50% increase. Such a quantity, such a speed, cannot be described as too large or too slow. What about Huawei, which was once very active in the 5G field, at a time when the number of Ericsson 5G contracts is increasing by leaps and bounds? The number of Huawei's 5G commercial contracts is currently unchanged from 96 points a year ago, and there has been no update since then. What is the cause of this situation? In fact, it could be because there aren't many notable achievements. After all, Huawei has always been a smash hit. As a result, based on Ericsson's public announcement, while Huawei remains silent, Ericsson may have truly surpassed Huawei this time. So, why is Ericsson experiencing such rapid growth at this time? How did Ericsson outperform Huawei in 5G contracting? Ericsson's ability to overtake Huawei in terms of 5G commercial contracts is due, first and foremost, to Ericsson's own 5G strength. Live Demonstration this demonstration was a great success. The three companies used 5G dual connectivity and carrier aggregation to set a new record of approximately 1 gigabit per second uplink rate on the test terminal, which was a smartphone equipped with a Qualcomm Snapdragon X65 5G modem and RF system. It can improve the user experience for live video and social Meituan content sharing, among other things. We can see Ericsson's own strong technology in 5G from this. It is not surprising that Ericsson is ahead of Huawei in terms of technology. Second, on November 22, 2021, Ericsson publicly announced on its official website that it would pay $6.2 billion in cash to acquire Vonage, a global cloud communication provider. This approach will allow Ericsson to expand wireless communication, and the scope of product business will naturally bring Ericsson a larger consumer market. Finally, on October 20, last year, Ericsson President Bao Yikong stated on a conference call that due to a decline in sales in the Chinese market, Ericsson is ready to begin a restructuring plan, initially reducing investment in 2G, 3G, 
and 4G and focusing resources as much as possible. 5G then merges China Mobile, China Unicom, and Telecom's three separate customer divisions into one, balancing sales and costs while keeping prices competitive. As a result, Ericsson may be able to outnumber Huawei in terms of 5G contracts because the Chinese market has seized key points and encouraged an increase in orders. Today, Ericsson's dominant position in 5G orders is undoubtedly something that Huawei despises. Is it possible for Huawei to reclaim the lead in global 5G commercial contracts from Ericsson in the future? Can Huawei overtake Ericsson in 5G contracts? In fact, Huawei will still have to outperform Ericsson in future 5G contracts. The China Academy of Information and Communications Technology published the Global 5G Patent Activity Report, 2022, on April 26 of this year, revealing that as of December 31, 2021, more than 64,900 5G standard essential patents had been declared globally, valid for the global 5G patent family. There are over 46,100 items, with the number of valid global patent groups of Huawei 5G accounting for as much as 14% of the total, ranking first. So, how does Ericsson fare? The number of Ericsson patent groups accounted for only 7.2% of this data, ranking 8th. As a result, the level gap between Ericsson and Huawei in 5G technology remains very large, and Huawei may not have a chance of surpassing. Furthermore, on March 22 of this year, the international research firm Daily Interactive published the 2021 5G mobile phone report. Huawei will continue to lead the domestic 5G mobile phone market with a 29.2% market share by the end of 2021. Also this year, Huawei signed 5G cooperation agreements with Turkey and Brazil on March 4 and March 5, respectively, and on April 6, the first 5G smart factory in Brazil using Huawei technology was officially launched. According to these reports, Huawei's market influence in the 5G field remains relatively large. With such market influence and recognition, Huawei may be unable to overtake Ericsson in the 5G contract. In short, although the current media reports that Ericsson has won 172 5G commercial contracts in the region, which may have surpassed Huawei, I believe that Huawei, in the light of domestic products, will be able to return to the peak of the first, and will be able to reproduce the former glory in the 5G field in the days to come. Thanks for having your watching in this video. You can add your ideas or suggestions below. Please keep following our channel and like our videos.